On the new show today, we've got a complete race roundup, including the tours of Romandy and Turkey. We've got our usual tech, tweet and caption of the week, and we take a look at our GCN Strava Club. The six-day tour of Romandy took place last week in Switzerland, and with the three most recent winners all going on to win the Tour de France later that year, it's a great race for judging the form of the big contenders. And there aren't many riders who've had better form so far this year than Michal Kwiatkowski. He took a win in the short opening prologue, giving him an early advantage in the overall classification. The following day's stage was shortened due to snow on the Simplon Pass, only 81 kilometres, and it was Michael Albersini of Orica Greenedge who sprinted to victory. He backed that up the following day with a second consecutive stage victory, the time bonus is also being enough to give him the overall lead in the race. Friday's mountain stage though was the first real shake-up of the general classification. Held under less than ideal weather conditions, many were expecting a Vincenzo Nibli attack on the descent to the finish. However, he decided to make his move on the preceding climb, but was quickly caught and passed by Chris Froome of Team Sky and Simon Spielak of Katusha. It was those two who went on to contest the stage victory, Spielak coming out on top, but more importantly, they had almost a minute's advantage over their closest rivals. The following day on stage five, Albacini took his third stage victory of the race, this time from a breakaway, and on the final day's time trial, Chris Froome wrapped up his second consecutive overall victory with a victory on the stage ahead of world time trial champion Tony Martin. Spielak did enough to remain in second overall, with world road race champion Rui Costa in third place. Last week's caption photo was this one, Elia Viviani and Mark Cavendish on the podium in Turkey with quite a few bananas. Two winners again this week who will both receive bottles if you send us your addresses. The first of those is Garvik who said, is that a banana in your bibs or are you just happy to see me? Jamie Ryman Tub meanwhile put, Mario Kart just got an upgrade. And this week's photo features Danilo Hondo with his Trek director sportif at the Tour de Romandy. Leave your captions in the comments section below this video. Meanwhile, the tour of Turkey continued last week, and for those of you who missed last week's new show, the first two stages were won in bunch sprints by Mark Cavendish. Day three saw a summit finish, and it was Ryan Tarame, the Estonian champion of Kofidis, who took the victory and the overall race lead from second place on the day, Adam Yates of Orica Greenedge. Stage four was again dominated by Omega Pharma Quickstep, with Cavendish comfortably taking his third victory of the race. However, he was outdone the following day by Elia Viviani. Although more astonishing than that was Viviani's teammate at Cannondale Cameron Worth doing a lead out at 60 k's per hour sat on his top tube. Stage six provided the last of the major climbs in the race and Adam Yates put in a stinging attack close to the finish to claim the stage victory ahead of Cannondale youngster Davide Formolo. More importantly though, despite celebrating a little too early, he did have enough time in hand over Tarame to take the overall race lead. He duly held on to this over the final two stages, which were won by Elia Viviani and Mark Cavendish. Now is the time to look at GCN Strava Club. Once again, at the top of the leaderboard, we've got somebody who has ousted Cycle Doctor One, who is getting increasingly frustrated by finishing in second place. He did 1,110 kilometers, while Mario Fonseca did 1,126 kilometers last week. Longest ride was by Darren Drysdale, who did 442.6 kilometres, whilst the most amount of climbing went to Matteo Damanzo at just over 14,000 metres. In other races, Alexander Christoph, the winner of this year's Milan San Remo, took a sprint victory in the Rundum den Finanzplatz Eschborn Frankfurt, ahead of John Dagenkolf. Meanwhile, in Belgium, Christoph van der Weyler of Trek took his third consecutive national time trial title, whilst Anne-Sophie Doik won the women's event. And in the Grand Prix de la Somme, it was Joheni Hutorovic of AG2R who sprinted to victory ahead of Tom Van Asbroek and Yannick Martinez. In the Festival Luxembourgois du Cyclisme Féminin, Elsie Jacobs, it was Mariana Voss who took victory in both the prologue and stage two. However, she didn't have things all her own way. A solo victory on stage one by her Rabobank teammate Anna van der Breggen was also enough to give her the overall victory. So what's on the channel this week? Well on Monday we had the latest in our Campagnola mechanical videos, this time showing you how to fit a track chain. Tuesday is Newsday, on Wednesday we're going to show you how to attack on a descent. On Thursday we give you our top 10 GC rides to watch out for at the Giro d'Italia. And on Friday Colnago show us how to make a steel frame. On Saturday we've got a surprise bike profile direct from the Giro d'Italia and talking of that race you can expect some behind the scenes videos from Thursday onwards from the first Grand Tour of the year.
Two tweets of the week to finish on, both from the Garmin team and both with a Giro theme. The first one comes from Australian Nathan Haas, who tweeted this picture, saying, you know you're in Ireland when you get three different types of potato with dinner. And Dan Martin tweeted this, still a surreal feeling to be sat at the airport flying to Belfast for the Giro on the way to Ireland. We'll be over there, we'll see you there, Dan. We'll be back at the same time next week with a new show where we'll wrap up the results from the first three stages. And in the Festival, Festival, Festival Luxembourg, Guard du Cyclisme Féminin, Elsie Jacobs. <laughs> what a name, is that actually the name? I'm going to have to check it. <laughs> Took victory at the Rund um dem Finanzplatz Eschborn Frankfurt. To see this year's Giro content, click here. And to subscribe to GCN, click here.